channel well I've just had delivery from Amazon of the Flymo Mighty Mo 300 LI I'm guessing that stands for lithium so this is a battery pack based multi set that you can power your lawnmower or your strimmer from the same battery just by charging it up. okay so in the last video we did the uh, battery powered Flymo strimmer so we'll try that out a little bit and now it's into part two of this joint pack here and actually uh, getting the actual battery powered lawnmower out so let's get it out and have a look at that put together okay so i've got all the bits and pieces out now there's a little bit of assembly here the main body though it's very much it very much feels a bit like a dyson you just uh, it's quite light and you can just pick it up one of the reasons um, i went with this model was this particular feature here which is a very very easy way um, to alter the length of the cut which on some of the flymos we've got to take the thing apart and uh, re-bolt all the blades back together is quite difficult so this is almost like one of those old chopper gear shifts that you used to have on the bikes all those years ago and that just alters the whole height of it also it's on wheels so i'm hoping the fly mowers they get on a bit they're quite heavy to lug around you know if they are hovering great but once they're full up with grass they're very heavy i don't think you can beat wheels on lawnmower right then let's put this together and have a look how it looks just done uh, fitting the handle these two pieces unscrew and so you clip those in both sides and you've got a little bit of different options here as to how high to uh, make the handle so you've just got two other bits that you screw together there and then that actually gives you a sort of a fairly normal layout left or right handed for the flymo so that bit was pretty easy so fitting the grass box that's a little bit more tricky you've got this piece here that just slides in there and self locks and you've got this very bouncy bits here that when you've clipped them together should neatly look like that but actually this bit's a lot more difficult than it looks so i'm now going to just battle with the other side okay so that was definitely the most challenging bit of that and you've got a snap on handle as well the bit really is line these up on each side first before you then try and line up all the other pieces so you've now got a fairly neat grass box i've also now added the two clips here to make the cable a little bit tidier i think that still feels unnecessarily awkward there given this is a battery powered thing it would be better wouldn't it if that cable ran inside the metal structure there i think having cables to do that means it's unnecessarily messy would be my first opinion okay so i've docked the grass box so this bit just pings up here and it uh, anchors each corner and then you can just lift that out in the same way to empty the grass box and now just left with putting the uh, the battery in the front of the mower okay so i've plugged that in and you can see that's flashing over here there so um, i think that'll become quite obvious when that uh, if in mind battery is charged so i'm looking forward to this i'm hoping this is somewhat quieter and needing a new lawnmower um i didn't really want to have another cordy one i got on very well with the cordless uh, long reach hedge trimmer i got last year the other alternative would be a petrol mower and that doesn't one they're extremely loud listening to my neighbors but two um it doesn't sound particularly good for the environment i think we've got to move everything as we have with dyson to uh, rechargeable batteries is the best thing so anyway, okay so we, we have our battery with your connectors you just lift this up here and you can see the connectors there so this now just docks into that one so you just put a little bit of pressure on there and the battery neatly docks to undock it it's that one and then you can see the battery comes away so you can charge it's a very easy click there click two we're ready we are ready so let's go and have a little try of this on the lawn so the last little thing to do is we've got two of these safety keys that needs to be near the battery compartment here just so that children don't accidentally start it up so you, you just turn insert it and turn it around and then the battery's live we're all ready to go and you can see the mower it looks like a hover mower but obviously got the wheels to take the weight so I think we'll give that a quick test. 
Okay, so we're ready now to start rowing. We've got our key in, our button here, and then hold on here or here if you're left or right handed. So please like, share and subscribe and come back tomorrow for another fun video.